Walls can only smile when he hears the Panthers are the heavy underdogs this week against the Dallas Cowboys. It's a storyline the former Carolina tight end has heard before. You look back at the history, we've had some big games against the Cowboys. But arguably none were bigger than the one Walls played in on January 5th, 1997 here in Charlotte. It was the Panthers' first ever playoff game. And standing in their way in the divisional showdown was the team of the 90s team just a year removed from their third Super Bowl championship that decade. You just felt how important, how big this game was for us, uh, playing the world champions on, a, on the world stage on TV. There's no atmosphere quite that can match it. I think this is the greatest. Walls admits he and some of his teammates were intimidated by legends like Emmett Smith and Troy Aikman. Fortunately, though, on Carolina's roster was one future Hall of Fame linebacker who was not. Kevin Green, you know, he had that wrestling voice. He was, he was a part-time wrestler. And he'd get, it's mono, it's mono. I'm gonna take my man and I'm gonna whip my man. One year in his head. Yeah, Darren. That was the tone Carolina took into battle. That and a belief they could overcome anything, even an early turnover against America's team. Picked off by Darren Woodson, a diving interception. We got the ball back went right down the field and, and got that touchdown. I think we started believing in ourselves even more. Pass a diving catch by Wesley Walls. Touchdown. Before long, the Panthers were up 14 to three. Felt like they were getting all the breaks. But even with Michael Irvin and Deion Sanders suffering injuries, Dallas refused to go down without a fight. Pat goes over the head. The ball rolling into the end zone. A safety for Dallas at 17-14. But late in the fourth quarter, after a couple of field goals, Carolina had regained control again. A victory was now within reach, and fittingly, it was the defense who went out and grabbed it. Eggman is intercepted by Sam Mills. Never mind the fact the Panthers were technically the higher seed, it still felt like they had done the impossible. This little franchise, only in its second year, had defied the odds. One of my favorite memories <clears throat> is we I think we went into the locker room after the game and we came back out onto the field and not a single fan had left. And we did a lap around the, the stadium and just high-fived everybody. I don't know, I'm, I'm getting chill bumps talking about it. It was a total team effort. Something Wall says the Panthers will need again for an upset to happen this year. Don't think they can do it again. This team reminds me a little bit of the Panthers uh, back in 96. Just remember, they said the same thing almost 27 years ago.